What's up guys, welcome back to Mike Builds. Today we're gonna build a 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. I bought a bunch of these really nice cells off of battery hookup quite a little while ago. They're 3.2 volts, 25 amp hours. So we're gonna put six of these in parallel, four in series, so it's gonna give us a 12 volt battery at 150 amp hours. So right now, I currently have these big old cylindrical, these are 55 each, so this battery's a 4S2P and this is 110 amp hours. So we're gonna have 110 plus 150 and then this is gonna be hooked to this system. This is like my solar generator thing. It's got a charge controller, big old sine wave inverter. It's got a BMS, it's got a smart shunt. And then this one, we also have a BMS, but right now it's only a 50 amp. It's kind of a small guy. So we're gonna use this for now, but that's it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is build a box to put these in. I wanna make like a nice wooden box. So I have this traced out. So I'm gonna go do my best with this jigsaw to cut this out. So once I get the box kind of all cut out and made, I'm going to show you guys. It's probably going to look like crap, but I'm going to do my best, so thank you. All right, got the box done, three-quarter inch ply. Right now I'm kind of loading the batteries in. I put a little bit of duct tape on the insides with the sticky side facing that way to kind of shim these. So you can see they have a little bit of resistance. So I'm going to get them loaded up, positive, negative, positive, and whatever. And then I'm going to uh, make some bus bars that have some copper tube I got. Then we're going to put bus bars on it. Then we're going to put the balance harness which is in there and then we're going to put the main power leads and then we'll go from there so once i kind of get the batteries mounted and i start making the bus bars i'll kind of show you guys how to do that and uh hopefully you get some ideas on how to do it yourself and this is why i'm shimming them you see how it's kind of loose right here also i don't have this one in but i'm going to put a tiny bit of tape just a little bit just to kind of shim those up a little bit so they can't move around doggies all right here's the final product we got our 150 amp hour battery done Right now we're just charging it with the 10 amp power, or I'm sorry, 10 amp Amazon charger. And there's the status of the cells. So 50 millivolts off, that's not too bad. Hopefully this BMS will kind of start to balance at some point. I don't know when it's supposed to start doing that, but we're gonna let it do its thing for a little while. And then once it's kind of done and it's very well balanced and it's pretty much fully charged, we're gonna stick it on my solar generator and we'll put it in parallel with that pack. So I hope to show you guys more videos of this in the future, but I hope you enjoyed my little build series. If y'all have any questions or want me to go into detail more on how to do this kind of stuff, I would be more than happy. Um, drop your questions in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you and answer you as thoroughly as possible. Um, I really enjoy building batteries and power systems and solar, as you can see out there. I enjoy all that stuff a lot. So if that's something you guys are interested in, let me know and let me know what you guys are working on. So thank you guys for watching. All right guys, sorry my robot vacuum's running. Little update on the battery project. We got the cells in six parallel, four in series. The way I made the bus bars is I got some copper pipe from like Lowe's or Home Depot. You smoosh it with a hammer, and then I took a drill press and kind of marked the holes where I needed to drill them. And to me, that seems to be the easiest way to do it. I don't know if this is gonna corrode or why this would not work, but we're just gonna do it for now and kind of see what happens. I've attached two balance harnesses. The first one's for the BMS. And the second one is just a standard JX whatever that you can hook to a standard LiPo like a hobby charger. And what I do with this is I have a little cell meter. I'm actually using it right now to balance some cells, but you can plug in one of these and keep track of the cells because I'm not using a smart BMS. This is just like a normal one. I can't like hook my phone to it and there's no display. So what I kind of like to do with these batteries, I did the same thing with my big power bank over here is I put a an extra little harness on it in parallel with the balance leads. That way I can tell the charge characteristics of the battery. That way I can see each individual group to make sure everything's staying balanced. So at this point, all we gotta do now is go and attach this guy. So I'm gonna kinda clean these leads up and then maybe put a piece of wood or something like that to mount the BMS or maybe I'll put it on the outside, I don't know. And then we gotta cover this up because right now these are live, these are series together so if i drop something between you know here for example it's going to create a short and it's pretty dangerous so i'm going to get that all buttoned up get the bms on and then we're gonna uh oh yeah another thing too we need to top balance each group because i believe one of these is lower than the others and if you don't top balance it you're going to have a situation where this is like 3.6 3.4 3.6 3.6 and this one's going to lag behind and because of the the difference in the state of charge the bms is going to take either forever to balance it or it's just not going to come up into balance so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to hook a hobby charger to each one of these individually and charge them each to 3.6 or 3.65 volts and then these will be completely flat or i'm sorry completely fully charged and the thing you have to realize about lithium iron phosphate compared to lithium ion is the charge curve is really flat so you don't necessarily know 
the state of charge of your battery by just checking the voltage is very, very, very flat. So, you know, lithium ion 4.2 is completely full. Three volts is normally discharged. Lithium ion phosphate, it's 2.5 is dead, 3.65 is full. But even if, even if you dis or I'm sorry, even if you charge these to 3.65 volts, they will naturally settle back down to about 3. Point, you know, five to 3.4 or whatever, and that's it. And it'll kind of stay there until it discharges completely, and then it just falls off. So we're gonna get these all top balanced, and then uh, we're gonna get the EMS mounted. And once I get all that, I'll show you guys what it looks like. 